We're hitting the road again, and this time we're headed to the beach. We're heading to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and we've got something special in mind. But no spoilers, we'll save that for later. Resorts or Airbnb, it's a great debate among many who travel often, just like us. People tend to fall into one camp or the other, and for a variety of reasons. Michael and I have had trouble picking a side. And since we retired early to slow travel the world, we need to figure this out. This became especially relevant on this trip to Puerto Vallarta. We've been here several times before and have always stayed in an all-inclusive resort. On the plus side for resorts, it's hard to beat the amenities, room service, daily cleaning, drinks delivered to you at the pool, food always within reach, security to help you feel safe, concierge services, and a gym. The negatives include being entirely removed from the local culture and the exorbitant prices. People who prefer Airbnbs generally enjoy having more space. It's also nice having access to a kitchen so we can cook whenever we want to. Historically, Airbnbs have also been a more economical option. This is still the case in some places, but with steep fees and heightened demand, these rentals are no longer guaranteed to provide a budget-friendly option for a vacation. But generally, if you research as much as we do, then you will find something. Also, there is a feeling of being more integrated into the community we're staying in. It allows us to feel more like visitors than tourists. We had to figure out what we were going to do in Puerto Vallarta. What we really wished for was to have it all. Can we have all the benefits of a resort and an Airbnb in one place? Believe it or not, we found that we could. We found a wonderful Airbnb at the Icon Vallarta condominiums. By the way, this isn't sponsored. We just wanted to share our experience and what we learned. Icon Vallarta consists of three 28-story towers with 336 condominiums and seven beachfront villas. Best of all, it comes with an impressive collection of amenities, which means it is the next best thing to a resort when visiting Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We are going to show you around our new home away from home for the next several weeks. Consider staying here on your next visit. Welcome to our Puerto Vallarta Airbnb. You can see uh, we've got a lot of light in here, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, I'll show you around really quickly. Obviously, right now we're in the kitchen and a dining room. The kitchen is fully set up uh, with all the appliances, dishwasher, and all the modern conveniences. Full uh, dining area here. And then over here, we've got the living room. You can see we've got wraparound balcony, and we're not gonna go out there right now, but it's really allowing a lot of light. We have electric shades that come up and down for obviously privacy and sun control. We've got uh, the huge TV that we always enjoy. The internet is flying fast, which is a big deal for us, is, is the wireless. So we're in good shape there. High ceilings and a lot of light. So we're excited about the living area. We also like leather couches because frankly, we always feel they're a little bit cleaner uh, than places that have upholstery. So we're super set up in here, even a home office kind of desk area here that's got everything we need if we want to work, which we don't. Coming through here, you can see we have the bedroom and the bedroom's also nice. It's got a king size bed. Um, again, the high ceilings, the air conditioning is throughout, another large television and another balcony. You'll see that we don't have that great a view here. Uh, we actually had the opportunity to go up like 20 more flights and get this amazing view. But we looked at the expense and it was a lot more expensive. It also only had a queen size bed instead of a king. We like a king, so we decided uh, with all the things that this place has, which we'll be showing you, which includes jacuzzis, um, uh, of course pools, a private beach, a beach club, a spa, a gym, and all this other stuff that we were really gonna be out there a lot and wanted to save the money and have the king size bed. So we're here on the lower floor and so far it's looking good. Through here, we've got the closet 
and all the stuff that she set us up with which you can see we've got everything she's got beach towels beach chairs and all the stuff you need a nice bathroom with a great shower amazing water pressure in here and through here is a full-size washer and dryer this also leads uh, out to the hallway so we've got uh, access to the bathroom if you don't want to go to the bedroom but anyway it's looking really good so far we're having a lot of fun and um, one of the things that we have decided to do really is we're here in mexico if we reflect on the last almost year we really want to spend more time in mexico we keep coming back here and we keep thinking man there's something here uh, as much as we love going everywhere else and we do uh, there's something about Mexico. So we're trying to be smart about how we choose Airbnbs and really think about here is almost a home away from home in Mexico. So with this one, that's an example of this. We're trying to choose places where we think, wow, what would this be like if we stayed longer than our usual amount of time and really started to learn about what it felt like to live in Mexico for an extended amount of time. So uh, we're going to live and learn on that, but we're really looking forward to uh, our time here in Puerto Vallarta and looking forward to sharing it with you. So come along and we look forward to it with you. We wanted to show you around the outside of the property and the facilities, and there's a lot of them. As you can see, we're here uh, right now on the pool deck. There's three towers, and we're in this one, uh, this first tower here on the third floor. We specifically uh, got the third floor without a whole lot of beach view. You can see there's a lot of stories there. Uh, but we got one on the third floor, which is really the first floor of condos, which as we've found out we enjoy because we can use the stairs. We don't have to go up and down the elevator. I'm sure it's beautiful and we've seen some pictures with the views from up there. But we're really enjoying um, our, our lower floor. Um, you can see over here we've got dining so there's plenty of things to eat here and the food is good and the prices are really reasonable so we're enjoying that they're serving here in breakfast uh, this morning but they also serve lunch they serve by the beach and they'll actually bring it to the pool for you which is great there's also a gym we've been using that every day uh, you have to have a reservation which we like because uh, they want to not uh, make, get too many people in there but we've had no trouble getting in there and it's a really really nice gym that overlooks the beach so we've able to use our uh, peloton app and the things that we want to do to work out every day which has been great you can see there's huge pools here so we've got a lot of pools um, they're super clean and there's plenty of beach uh, umbrellas and chairs and even beds for us to be on out here we'll take you down to the beach in a minute but there's a private beach as well so we're really set up beautifully here and we don't have to leave the property all until we're ready We're out here by the pool right now after a workout a couple hours ago and right now it's just a beautiful day. We're hanging out by the pool, having a few drinks, a little bit of snacks and just soaking up this great day. We just finished uh, lunch at the condo and it's really nice because there's a buffet here. It's right on the beach and they've got everything we love. It's unlimited guacamole and chips and pico. And today we had some great chicken and some Mexican dishes, tortilla soup and all this other stuff. So it's really nice because we can literally walk from the pool about 30 steps down here to the beach and then our buddy Luis takes care of us. It's uh, really nice just hanging out and enjoying our time here in Mexico and this private beach and this beach club is really a part of uh, what's making this great for us. We usually hang out by the pool, but today we find ourselves on the shoreline listening to the waves and taking in some sun. It's a beautiful day here today. Even after having lunch poolside, a walk on the beach builds up an appetite. Since we have a well-stocked kitchen, we think we'll cook tonight. Fortunately, there is a large grocery store close by. I love that the grocery store has everything we need to supply the condo, and it's just three blocks away, so not bad at all. It's become clear that we found the perfect place in Puerto Vallarta that gives us the best compromise between the amenities of a resort but the freedom and cost-effectiveness of an Airbnb. 
We will get into a full cost breakdown in a future video. At the beginning of this video, we told you that we had something special planned in mind for Puerto Vallarta. Well, we're getting our Mexican permanent residency. We are so excited. So in an upcoming video, we'll tell you exactly how we did it and how you can too. Watch this video to see what's next on our adventures and check out our customizable merchandise store. See you soon.